Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe and like the video while you're at it because I'll be posting more videos on content of studying physics, taking notes, science, technology, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, go ahead and hit subscribe right now. All right, now on to the video, how I use Notion to take notes on physics. Now, Notion is a really great note-taking app and it's really great for jotting down ideas, things you need to do, like to-do lists, calendar events, all that kind of great stuff. Uh, it's typically called the second brain of people, and so Notion is where you go put stuff to store it basically in your second brain's long-term memory that it'll never forget. So how can you use Notion to remember all these ideas in physics? Because there's so many ideas in physics, it's all basically impossible to memorize them all. You do need some way of organizing these notes or ideas in physics to be able to reference back to them once you need them every single time. And this is what Notion is great at. Notion is great at organizing things, so you can organize by different subjects, different topics, different levels of education that you're at. Notion is actually very great for college students to keep your lives organized and to keep up to date with everything that's going on. So you'll never forget an assignment due date or a task to do, something to complete for research, anything like that. That's what Notion is great for. But what Notion is not great at is taking notes on time-sensitive tasks. So things like a lecture, where you're not going to be able to get that like past hour back of the lecture to rewrite all your notes, unless maybe you record it on your phone or something. But really, who, no one I don't know anyone that actually does that. What you should do is be taking your notes more completely through handwriting. And it's also been proven that handwriting your notes out is actually far more effective at memory retention than typing your notes. Because if you're just typing your notes in a lecture, you're basically just trying to type like a transcript of what the professor is saying instead of actively memorizing or actively writing down what the important information is. So when you handwrite your notes, yes it is slower and you don't get 100% of the information the professor is saying, but it forces you to actively go through the information, process it, and pick out which parts are the most important and what you want to write down. So that's why handwriting notes is always the best thing to do. And I will always handwrite notes on my Surface Pro right here. Uh, I've been using this Surface Pro for five years now and it's great. I don't have an iPad. I definitely use the Surface more than anything else and it works perfectly fine. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on like an iPad and you do like require like x86 architecture for the programs that you're running, Surface Pro is the best of both worlds. It runs every single like coding program and everything I need, digital electronics, Python, C++, all that kind of great stuff. And the Surface Pro is also a great tablet. You can use the pen to write down all the information that goes through your head in the lecture. And later I might make another video very detailed on how I take notes on the Surface Pro because I think I have a little bit of a different process in that than being because I don't have an iPad, but that's for later. So on to Notion again. So Notion uses what's called LaTeX to write the equations in there. So if you go into Notion, there's an option to add either blocked equations or inline equations. And now even today, a lot of big programs use LaTeX. Uh, Microsoft Word even uses LaTeX. There's plenty of LaTeX compilers online like Overleaf. And even you can download LaTeX. LaTeX is a free open source software. It can turn any of your like plain text code that's written for LaTeX and you can compile it into like a PDF or something. So Anyone can use LaTeX, which is what's great about it. It's free and open source. Now let's talk about how to use LaTeX in Notion to write these notes for like physics and math. So say you want to write the Schrodinger equation inside of your notes. Well, in most other note-taking apps, it'll actually be impossible to do this while typing it because they don't have the correct symbols or anything to use. They only have ASCII lettering or some other type of like letter symbol system, but in Notion, since they use LaTeX, you can actually put in these types of equations with these special characters. One way to do it is to put in a blocked equation and that goes, makes a new line and then you can enter your LaTeX code in there 
and it'll put in the equation by, based on the code that you put in. So for example, say I want to put in the Schrodinger equation, I'll open a new block text line and then put in the h hat operation, psi, then the equals e psi. And that's what's great. In Notion, we can use these special characters inside of LaTeX that you can't use in any other note-taking system, which is what's great for taking notes in science and math and other STEM subjects. And so I'm really glad Notion has put this into a note-taking app now that I can finally be able to use. Now another way of putting in an equation into your notes is to just do regular inline equations, which still use the LaTeX format, but instead of putting it as a new line, it'll put the equation right in the sentence that you're writing. And so this is good for maybe putting in a substitution that you're trying to do in a proof or a solution that you're trying to find for something. So you can have a detailed explanation of what you're doing right next to the equation itself. And this uses the exact same format that all LaTeX uses. So it uses the same uh, operations with the slash hats or slash integral or any of that stuff. It uses the same slash slash to make a new line. So you can also make a new line in those blocked equations. So you can just write some pretty long code. I think the interface for typing the code is a little cluttered, but you can make the actual code go span over multiple lines. So you can show multiple lines of some equations to go through a proof. Now let's talk about the practicality of taking notes in LaTeX with Notion. Well, I said before, it's always better to handwrite your notes instead of typing them out on the computer because handwriting your notes forces you to think and pick out the most valuable information going through in the lecture and forces you to write it down. And that action of writing down and selecting the most important information strengthens the connection of the knowledge inside of your brain. So I would always recommend either handwriting or free drawing on like a note-taking app on an iPad or Surface Pro or something. In the future, I'll probably do a video on why I use the Surface Pro more and also how to take notes on it because my process of taking notes on it is a little different than most others. So with that out of the way, now let's get into how to actually take the notes on Notion. So what I do is I like to revise my notes um, by taking them off of my Surface Pro and retyping in the important information into Notion and then using LaTeX to put in any equations to fill in the gaps. Say I want to write down a proof of some physics idea into Notion. What I'll do is I'll type out all the important steps and explanations of everything from my Surface, transferring it from my Surface onto Notion. And then I'll go through LaTeX and by each explanation, I'll put in the corresponding step to it. So I like to do this a little separately, but maybe for you it'll make more sense to just go through, type in the explanation, type in the equation. And like I said before, I do not recommend typing your notes into Notion at all while for time sensitive data like a lecture or a live video session or a um, work meeting, stuff like that. I don't recommend typing notes into Notion. Maybe for a work meeting because you can type faster and that might be more useful to have a transcript of, but for a physics lecture, you do not want a transcript of the physics lecture for your notes. You want the most valuable parts of the information that are given and you want those in your notes. What I've been doing lately as well is I've been going into my physics book, reading it, typing up little summaries on the chapters inside of Notion, and then putting in the LaTeX with the equations that I need for the chapter. That way it separates the subject by chapter by chapter by each idea. I get detailed explanations and I get the equations right in there, as well as reviewing for the lecture before. That way for the lecture before, I can use Active Recall to look and learn in the lecture to think, oh, this is what the professor is going to do next. I'm going to try to do it on my surface real fast before the professor can even solve the problem. Now, I would also recommend not titling your notes by like section, because if someone else looks at your notes and says just like quantum mechanics, chapter three, section four or something like that, they're going to have no idea what that means. The title of the page should be operators or symmetries or scattering or hydrogen atom, 
stuff like that because that makes more sense to what the subject actually is and what the notes are actually about because even you in like two or three years you're not even going to know what those sections were about so it's even more helpful for you to just label the sections by what the content inside of them is and just remember i never recommend you taking notes fully in latex on your computer i know it's a little tempting because you might have them like real neat and everything and you might be a latex professional and you might just be so stubborn on wanting to take notes in latex but if you're that type of person you're probably not watching this video just take notes on either your ipad or surface or pen and paper and transfer the information into notion I, that's the best approach i feel like because then you get to review your notes you get to review the information again you get to learn latex all this great stuff and it helps you study and learn and also just remember this version of latex on notion does not include any packages that you might be used to if you're a latex professional so the packages might be a little different but it's still latex at the end of the day and it's still very great for taking notes with inserting these equations. So to sum it all up, Notion is great for note taking and great for remembering things in long term memory because it just digitally stores all the information in it and it's free. So it's great for college students, it's great for individuals, it's great for group workers. So it's there's almost no excuse not to use Notion. There are so many templates online that other people have created other geniuses in coding and everything that have because Notion is open source so uh, that allows people to create their own little versions of Notion for every aspect of life basically for note taking, job working, personal finance, scheduling, all kinds of stuff. I would not recommend using LaTeX specifically just to take notes in lecture. I always recommend to handwrite your notes either on pen and paper or an iPad or my Surface Pro right here that I use. It's always better to take notes because that requires you to pick out the most important information and write it down and then transfer it into Notion and then use LaTeX to input the equations that you need. That way you're always picking out the most important information and you're always gonna retain the information even longer by actively handwriting it and then actively sorting it into Notion. And Notion is very good for reviewing notes because of LaTeX incorporation. It makes viewing them so much easier. It looks almost like a textbook that you're reading, but with the information that you put in that you understand. And it's truly amazing that a note-taking app like this has finally incorporated LaTeX. I've been waiting for this so long and I love it. I truly enjoy using Notion a lot. And Notion syncs across all entire devices logged into it. So the notes I type up on my Surface Pro will show up on my MacBook, will show up on my iPhone. And that's great because I'll never be without my notes now. And so if I ever need my notes, I'll be able to find them no matter what device I'm using. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on education, science, technology, productivity, all kinds of great stuff and go ahead and hit the like button as well, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.